So let's examine the following electric circuit, which is composed of three capacitors. So suppose we have three capacitors, which are connected to one another as shown in the following diagram. So we have capacitor one, capacitor two, and capacitor three. Now, if the capacitance of each one is the same and is equal to nine microfarads and the voltage difference across the battery is given to be 12 volts, we want to calculate what the electric charge is that is stored on each one of these capacitors and we also want to calculate the voltage difference across each one of these capacitors. So let's begin by looking at the following method that we're going to follow to solve our problem. So we're going to follow four steps. In step one, we essentially want to find what the total capacitance is of that equivalent single capacitor that will replace all these three capacitors. Now, this we actually calculated in the previous lecture, so we're going to use that result. Now, in step two, we want to use this result and we want to find the total charge that leaves the lower voltage of our battery. Why? Well, because that charge will equal to the charge on this capacitor number one. Then in step three, we want to find the remaining charges on capacitors two and three. And in the final step, we want to use our result from these three steps to calculate the voltage using this equation on each one of our capacitors. So let's begin with step one. So in the previous lecture, we were able to show that if we combine all these three capacitors as shown, we get the following equivalent capacitance. So two multiplied by C divided by three, where C is equal to this quantity. So we plug in nine microfarads, two multiplied by nine divided by three gives us six microfarads. So that means if we combine all these three capacitors into a single capacitor that carries the same quantity of electricity electric charge across the same voltage, we get the following result and the capacitance of this capacitor is 6 microfarads. Now, let's move on to step 2. In step 2, we essentially want to calculate what the total quantity of charge that leaves the lower voltage side of our battery. So when we first connect our battery into our electric circuit, our electrons begin to flow from the lower potential this side to the higher potential to this side. Now the quantity of charge that leaves this side of our battery is equal to the quantity of charge that ends up on this plate of our capacitor number one. So if we calculate the total charge, that is equal to the charge found on capacitor one. So by definition, Q is equal to CV. So Q total is equal to our capacitance equivalent multiplied by voltage. So we know the voltage of the battery is 12 volts. And we know from part one that C equivalent is equal to six microfarads. So six multiplied by 12 gives us 72 microcoulombs is the quantity of charge that leaves this end of the battery and which also ends up on this capacitor. So once again, since the quantity of electric charge that leaves the battery is equal to the quantity of charge that ends up on capacitor 1, the quantity of charge on capacitor 1 is equal to 72 microcoulombs. So this answers one step of part A. What about the other two capacitors? What is the quantity of charge on these two capacitors? So basically, as our electrons travel from this end to this side, they collect on this plate. And because there is now a collection of electric charge, 
those electrons will repel these electrons on this capacitor, on this plane of the capacitor, forcing them to travel this way. So the quantity of charge that enters this intersection is the same quantity of charge that ends up on this side, namely our Q total. So Q total is equal to it splits into two charges, our Q2 plus Q3, where Q2 is the quantity of charge that ends up on the second capacitor and Q3 is the quantity of charge that ends up on the third capacitor. So Q2 is simply C2 multiplied by V2 and Q3 is equal to C3 multiplied by V3. Now because these two capacitors are in parallel to one another, the voltages are equal and we are told the capacitance of these capacitors is also equal. Equal. So that means C2 is equal to C3 and let's say that is equal to C and also notice V2 is equal to V3 so let's call that V. Now notice this is not the same V as given to be 12 volts. This is a different V that we'll calculate at the end of our example. So CV plus CV is equal to 2 multiplied by CV. Now let's replace CV with simply Q. So we have Q total is equal to 2, 2 multiplied by Q. So if we solve for Q, we see that Q2 is equal to Q3 is equal to Q, which is equal to Q total divided by 2 because we bring this 2 over on this side. So Q total is 72 microcoulombs. We divide that by 2 and that gives us 36 microfarads. So this is the quantity of charge. Actually, this should be microcoulombs. So 36 microcoulombs of charge is found on either one of these uh, parallel plate capacitor. So the charge essentially splits in half. It splits evenly because our two capacitors have the same exact capacitance. Now let's move on to step four. In step four we essentially want to use this equation to calculate what the voltage is for each one of our capacitors. Let's begin with capacitor one. So the voltage found on capacitor one is equal to, well well, it's the Q, the total voltage, divided by C1, where the total voltage was found to be 72 microcoulombs, or the total charge was found to be 72 microcoulombs, and our C1 was found to be 9 microfarads. Well, actually, this was given to be 9 microfarads. So 72 divided by 9 gives us 8 volts. So the voltage across capacitor 1 is given to be 8 volts. Now, what exactly is the voltage across these two capacitors? Now because they are placed in parallel, they will have the same quantity of voltage. Voltage 2 is equal to voltage 3, so it doesn't matter which one we use, let's say we want to use Q2. So Q2 divided by C2 is equal to, well we found Q2 is equal to 70 or 36 microcoulombs. So that means 36 microcoulombs divided by 9 microfarads gives us 4 volts. So the quantity of our voltage on either one of these two capacitors is equal to 4 volts. So the charges on these two are the same and equal to 36 microcoulombs and the charge on this quantity is equal to double that or 72 microcoulombs. Now the voltage on this is 8 volts and the voltage on either one of these is equal to 4 volts. Notice that 8 volt plus 4 volt will give us back our 12 volts.